All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to roll up. We're just going to do a standard clear of pots because we don't know what we're getting here. And uh, you can see here Alpha Strike looks fairly normal, right? If you don't know the numbers, but if we hold shift on it, we do plus 65% physical damage now instead of plus 90% physical damage, okay? Um, each subsequent hit is the same. It deals 25% damage, and that includes for the on hit. That includes your E as well, okay? Um, you could also see that the attacks reduce the cooldown by one second. However, I believe the intention is the more ability haste you have, the less it reduces your auto attack cooldown. Okay, so um, can I have a leash list clear? I'll give you a little heart. Thanks, babe. Um, yeah, so let's move my chat down to here. I'm just going to go ahead and pause this. <clears throat> and so the idea here is that we want to see the, the problem is that our clear might be slower because our alpha strike does less damage, especially if you're doing the first part leashless, right? So let's take a look. Yeah, like we could already see a significant reduction in Q damage, right? And the problem here is that without E, we don't do as much damage because they also nerfed the, the jungle damage that you do. So typically, when we're doing a leashless clear like this, we want to get into this camp about 151, and I'm getting here about 154, 155. Oh god, my mouse is messed up. Oh no. Right? So now uh, we can start to witness the clear is speeding up a little bit thanks to the Wuju style. But now when my Wuju style is on cooldown, we can see I clear kind of slow again. And this is also going to completely change how we clear the Raptors as well. So I don't know what the Raptors are going to look like here. So we're going to try it out. So watch this. You can hold E, Q, and your E pauses during Q. Right? Oh my god, I keep I keep mis-autoing everything. Okay, so that's about one auto. So typically we're clearing this camp about 231, and you can see we're a little bit slow on it. And this might also be because of the leashless, but... Okay, so there's that one done. And I think now, actually, it might be worth grabbing points in E over Q just to get that cooldown. So we can start with E, Alpha. And this also is probably going to ruin our wolf clear where we Alpha over the wall, right? Okay, very nice. A DC, a DC. And we're pulling this over. And at this point, this clear is a bit slow. Uh, and again, this could very well be because of the changes. I think I think that it's been a while since I've had a clear really this slow. Maybe I'm just excited, but we'll we'll see. So you can see my Q does pause my E, which is fantastic. So we got about a 334 clear. Now, that's really slow. Um, granted, I'm on PBE. So these players aren't going to be too good. So this Graves actually has a slower clear to me somehow. But we can see that the clear got a little bit worse. <clears throat> and with time, we might be able to min-max it. Because the thing is, is our previous clear was min-maxed based on our autos, right? So this doesn't necessarily mean... Oh. This doesn't necessarily mean... Oh yeah, look at that. Look how you can apply E and Q now. That's beautiful, right? This doesn't mean that the clear is always going to be slow, but yeah, from first glance, as a new Master Yi player, the clear will be slow, and we're going to have to figure out a better way of doing it. All right, all right, I'll do it, bud. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll bite. I'll bite. Yeah, if you don't apply E, your Q is not going to do any damage. I don't... Wait, did my E... Did my E apply there during the Q? What do you want from me, Thresh? What do you want from me? All right, Thresh, I can't, I can't be holding this, man. I can't be holding this. I don't want this. Oy. Thresh, I don't want this. Oh, are you going in? You finally going in? No, you're not. For some reason, my mouse feels all messed up. Okay, so it's a little bit awkward. The the Q is a little bit awkward to start. Uh, we want to get the Noon Quiver here. 
I wonder if that works on Alpha Strike since it's on attacks. I don't know, but I can't afford a new quiver. You know, I'm kind of uh, in terrible shape. But I do honestly think that, like, Emax is probably better than Q. So the thing is, is, like, because now that our E applies as true damage, it's getting applied to every monster in the camp. And we need the, the cooldown on, on our E, right? Mm, I don't know. I'm kind of torn, but we'll see. I think it'll be good. Because you got to realize, the only thing we get for leveling Q now is a little bit of extra damage, which our E is giving to us. And also, uh, the 0.5 second cooldown per level. Let me see. Hang on. We got ourselves a donation. Let me see who gave me that. And thank you for the donation. What germ? Much appreciated, dude. Okay. Um, and so, where is this camp? Somebody took my raptors when I wasn't paying attention. But, yeah. It's, it's a really good quality of life change to be able to use your E during the queue. Like, it's just really nice, and you don't lose duration on it, which is also really nice. But we're definitely seeing some problems here where our primary clear ability can no longer clear. So we're seeing these minions are rough to kill on first clear here. And the, the clear is not clean. But with E, it's, it's powerful. But let's go hold bot lane. Oh, oh, man, the ping is getting me, guys. I got a hundred and something ping. Bro, <laughs> I just want to alpha the minion, man. Just leave me alone. Ye gank mid. I'm a, I'm a little busy, bro. I'm a little busy. Uh, No worries, though. No worries. We got this. We got this. <clears throat> I want to go get this here. So, we're level six. Which isn't too bad at this stage in the game. We are kind of AFK farming. Now the question is, is the clear bad because of the Q changes? Which obviously they are. But the question is, can we save it by using our E in opportunistic times? And the thing is, is now we have to run E when we're jungling. So previously I never really ran E when I was jungling because I like to save it in case somebody was coming for me. Okay, that is quite possibly the earliest lantern I've ever seen in my life. Let's see it in action. True damage on alpha. Quite nice. Yeah, that I think that right there, we're going to be really seeing... Oh my god, my mouse, guys. I'm telling you, my mouse is messed up. We're going to be really seeing the, uh, the, the full changes of the build as we PvP. Right? So, like, when we're using our... Alpha strike on players and we're doing true damage. Man, look how little damage Alpha does now. But, I mean, to be fair, overall, I think this is quite a large buff. Like, look at this. Look at the true damage we do in it. I love it. So we're going to grab this <coughs> and we're going to try to do our full clear again. But the thing is, is, is it worth giving up our early jungle clear for a little bit better at the PvP, huh? Okay, so here we go. We got another point in E. E... Auto Alpha Strike saving our E duration. And at this point, we one shot the things anyway. And like our clear, I think our clear is starting to uh, pick up a little bit. Man, who keeps taking my Raptors? Like, is that Graves? Like, is Graves constantly taking my Raptors here? Like,. I don't approve of this, Graves. I don't approve. But yeah, uh, I also, I think I'll be able to carry this game. Oh, I forgot E. Yeah, now you're really going to have to remember to use E on Alpha Strike if you want to do that damage. Because without it, your damage is quite quite low, right? Uh, here we go. Let's, uh, I want to clear this, but because it's going to take so long and I have to use E for it, I have to gank instead. So let's do it. Let's use E. 72 damage applied on Alpha. I just realized I don't have any items, guys. <laughs> I just, like, I, I tried to fight that guy, and I'm like, hmm, wait a minute. I have no items. <laughs> okay, so now we're getting points in Q. Oh, no, 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 no. We got this. We got this. No surrender. No surrender. We got this.
Yeah, we need that. We need that Q, or that E on the Q. Otherwise, we don't do any damage. But this this is starting to create a reliance on our uh, E ability here. Which I don't like. I don't like having to use my E on everything. Oh, there's a Graves over there. See, now I have to use E here. And now I don't have E for Graves. So I'm just going to stay here and wait for it. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh. Wait, why would you ult that? <laughs> yeah, so we can immediately see where it's getting a little bit awkward. Where we're using our E. Like, we have to use our E to clear the crab. If we don't use E, we don't clear the crab, right? Uh, and what happens is, is then we run into graves. And then we don't have our E for graves. And then we don't do damage to graves, right? So, uh, like, a lot of people ask me, why don't I use E when I'm uh, clearing camps? Well, right now you're witnessing why the use of E is bad. Because there's so many situations where not having E is going to cost you a fight. So, first thing I don't like is I don't like how reliant we are on using E to do damage. Right? Uh, so, we're going to roll up on top lane. I think we can probably kill them, but we're, we're going to see. I got to decide if I'm with Seraphine or Ed, dude. I'm more than sure. What? He has a challenger symbol? I thought players on the server were bad. Okay, so I don't get to see exactly how my E influences those fights, but if you can slow it down and look at it yourself, you can probably get a good feel. I'm kind of hoping Graves comes up through here. Also, you got to keep in mind Alpha Strike does not apply Double Strike, and it does not apply Kraken. Okay, so we're not going to be applying our Double Strike or Kraken when we Alpha Strike somebody. Don't, don't worry, it's not that broken. It's a little broken, but it's not that broken. Unfortunately, Silas is coming to take my, uh, my Tower Gold. And you can see that when we hit all four minions, we do 94 true damage to each of them, which is a lot of true damage. Uh, I do not have enough for the Guntus. I want to stop and grab a Guntus. Wait, what is she doing? Is she... I was kind of hoping, like, my uh, Shelly would get her so I could maybe get some gold there. See, now we're in a spot here where we want to use E. He's going to be mad at me, but I don't really care. Uh, we want to use our E to farm these blue a little bit faster, right? Oh, no. <laughs> Maybe he won't notice me. Okay. Yeah, you can see the multiple procs of E, right? Okay, not a big problem. 3-1 surrender vote. Come on, guys. I got this. I carry this. I don't think they care, though, because they don't have a rank or anything. All right, so now we have Gunzus, and Gunzus, in theory, should apply all the on-hit effects to your alpha. So now we're doing 80 physical damage extra on top of our alphas. And this is a part where our E isn't really, uh, you know, a problem. And what we'll do is we will buy a Death Stance so we can see how CDR will influence our Alpha Strike. Because, again, in theory, our Alpha Strike should get worse with CDR. But I think Gunzus is where the alpha is really going to start bouncing. Uh, I gotta go help mid. If I don't help these guys, they're gonna get really angry. Okay, I shred. And I hope you guys are seeing the on hit on my alpha. It's, it's doing quite... Yeah, wow. Wow, he said. <laughs> yeah, wow. But to be fair, he has two levels under me. Give me that red buff. Oh, somebody's here. We can tell by how it's moving. Okay. It wasn't too bad. Now let's roll up on Mordekaiser. And we definitely got to get these tier 2 boots soon. But Mordekaiser shouldn't be hard. Let's see the E. Okay, so we can see the Alpha Strike true damage coming through. And now it's not trolling to actually Alpha Strike a tank. It's actually kind of crazy. Now, let me let me throw this out here. I'm going to make E look really broken. I know it's a 4v5, okay? But I am playing against, I'm guessing, lower ELO players in general. I know that guy had like a challenger emote, but there's no way he's actually a challenger. Uh, I'm 
getting signaled missing. They might jump me here in the rift, but honestly, I'm kind of all down for that. I think I could do it. Master, you have team. Uh, see, guys, low elo players know it, have no idea what they're talking about. Just ignore them. <laughs> Just ignore them, guys. Just ignore them. You have team. Do I now? I didn't realize that. <laughs> I didn't realize it. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna go ahead and push top. I would love to buy my next item here. I am I am quite literally the team. Oh. Okay, so I think next up, obviously in the previous patch or in the current patch, Death Dance is probably the next item we buy here, right? I'm gonna go all in here with my Gunzus. I'm not wait. Did that thing just die to red? Wait, did my Alpha Strike apply red buff? Does that happen? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. My Alpha Strike applies red buff, guys. I'm not gonna lie, that's crazy. Okay, well, you know, I really needed to buy. Well played, no team. Bro, I'm literally playing solo. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm literally, I'm literally playing solo, bro. My team farm. Oh my god. Okay, so let's check out our alpha strike. So one second reduction. Um, let's just buy this for 15 ability haste. 0.87 seconds. So it is confirmed and it is true. If you get ability haste, your alpha strike cooldown reduces less quickly. Now, how does that influence us? We have 14 seconds, 16. So it reduces alpha strike by two seconds, which means that. 15 autos. I mean, that's that's still not a big deal. The ability haste is still worth it. It's still absolutely worth it. Uh, next up, guys, we'll grab the Wits End or even a Blade and Ring King. I think both of these items would be troll as heck. And yeah, t in theory, Titanic Hydra would apply on your Q. In theory. Uh, he's going to be crazy, though. He is going to be crazy. We still don't, again, we still don't know the implications of this, of this build, but we'll see. Yeah, but I think Death Dance is still going to be critical here. So yeah, 0.87, that means, oh, that means like Dust Blade's going to be getting close to like 0.6. And that right there, that's how they're going to, I know it looks like all sunshine and rainbows, but that right there, that's how they're going to get the Dust Blade build. They're going to lower your, uh, your autos. But even so, it still doesn't feel that bad. Well, it might be because we have Rage Blade, though. All right, I'm just going to push bot. All right. All right, I'm not really interested in uh, holding this tower here. Oh, I didn't kill him. I thought I killed him. Hmm. Yo, you want to hit this? You got you got three stacks of rally shield, bro. Okay. Yeah. Um. Ooh. Maybe I'm really tempted to try Blade and Ranking. Like, imagine if you use Blade and Ranking on a guy. But then again, it applies Blade and Ranking after the first alpha hit. 
this trash. It applies Blade and Rain King after the first alpha hit, so you already did a bunch of damage to it beforehand. Um, let's go ahead and grab this and grab this. I think, honestly, I'm a little bit worried that we're turning Master Chief from a Dustblade champion into like an on-hit burst champion. But it is kind of interesting, isn't it? Um, what would be the value of Navari? I mean, the problem is, is Navari gives you any value that you gain from Navari and keeping your Q up is being lost by the ability haste that you have. Wait, Jinx like sold her items and went AFK, huh? Okay. Oh, yeah, and we do true damage to Baron during Alpha Strike now, too. Now, Alpha Strike isn't, like, a super detriment to, like, use. Look at this. Pausing E. Oops. <laughs> We're not going to talk about that, guys. We're pausing E during our autos now. And it also pauses R. That thing as well. That'll be really good in team fights. Very nice. All right. I could maybe, like, try and push and end the game here. I don't know. Like, in that bot lane... I felt like I should have been able to kill them both. I'm not really sure what happened. Um, I was trying to hopefully get my Q back up quickly, but... Did not happen, guys. Did not happen. Alright, so I like to just, like, 1v1 their entire team. Wait, 1v5. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some, like, really slow... Slow gameplay here to try and make this happen. Oh, they got almost all the dragons, huh? I should have blown that blast plant. Okay, well, that was a wipe. I'm going to go push bottom now. I'm getting quite fed. I want to try out Blade and Rune King now, though. Man, look at that, though. Man, I honestly... I love the idea of on hits applying to Alpha, but I don't know how I feel about... so much of our clear being tied to E. Hmm... That's something I'll have to think about as I do it. Titanic Hydra would be fun as well. Like, look at all that true damage. We just did 600 true damage in one Alpha Strike, guys. And our E stays up. Because of the, the pause. God, it's, it's amazing. It is actually amazing. Alright, I'd like to get a Penta, honestly. With the uh, new Master Yi. So if that enemy team could uh, walk up and, uh, oh, I think Seraphine, I think Seraphine went AFK and made it a 4v4. <laughs> None. I welcome Seraphine. Man, the stretch hasn't died at all. What a guy. I don't know. I think like 0.87 seconds is pretty fair. Okay, that guy didn't even connect his barrels. <laughs> Uh, PBE, dude. Uh, bro. Bro, you gotta connect the barrels. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm just, uh, I was just giving him some advice. <laughs> I'm just, I don't want to be a butthole, but... But he, he wasn't connecting the barrels. <laughs> Let's see if he can do it this time. There we go. That was a good one. Should I kill them, or should I, like, have mercy on their souls? <laughs> I mean, so the key thing to be looking at, guys, is how much is that Alpha Strike doing? Wait, does that apply my Blade and Ranking, the Alpha Strike? Like, I know it applies the on-hit, but does it apply to slow? Hmm. 
Yeah, that didn't do as much damage as I thought, but let's be honest, Mashi shouldn't be one-shotting with Alpha Strike. Nice Champ Riot. Mm. They are lucky to be playing in a game with me. That's all I got to say. <laughs> they, are, they are lucky. They will never see a Yi quite as awesome as me in any other games. Ah! Okay. Yeah, so E definitely does a lot more. Or Alpha Strike does a lot more on on-hit build. Like, I would have never killed Gameplank in the last patch in the fountain there. Um, well, now we can try out Titanic Hydra unless the enemy team goes AFK. Wait, this isn't even built out of a longsword, huh? I'm really curious how the Titanic Hydra would uh, be. I probably shouldn't have killed them all, though, so they would defend so I could at least try Titanic Hydra. Whoa, this Caitlyn mad. I don't get to try out Titanic. This, this dress is pulling people. Mm, this this trash is... Uh, this trash is, is this what it's like in low elo, guys? Well, there it is. Jeez, the threat. Man, look at the... Look at that chat. But yeah, that's our first game with the uh, new Master Yi build. Um... So far, really interesting. I think there's a lot of things that got touched that we weren't really thinking about. The first jungle clear is pretty, pretty bad. Um, uh, bronze one. Wait, placed in the bronze. Wait, there's wait, there's ranked ranked flex. Wait, I can't see the I can't see the end screen. I want to see I want to see the damage here. How does he have a challenger icon? If he's in bronze, you know what? I'm not gonna question it. 38k. I wish... Let's see the total true damage here. I mean... Okay, so... Out of my 38k damage... 18,000 is true damage. So almost... Almost half of my damage is true. Now, with the current change. Which is pretty... Pretty insane. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try it more and we're going to see how the clear is and whether we should actually be maxing E or Q.